Okay, so you had another vision last night, huh? Well, this girl, did you at least get a good look at her? Yeah, I actually saw her face pretty clearly for the first time. Like, it was so vivid. If I, if I close my eyes now, I could still see her face behind my eyelids. But there's something else about that vision I couldn't quite get a grasp of. Okay. Well, she's at least one of us, right? And how are we even going to find this girl? And have you told Blake about this? She's definitely one of us. And yes, I've talked to Blake. And on finding her, well, I actually wanted to try something. Can I try something? I think. On me? Yeah. Like what? Here, stand up. Come on. All right, <laughs> okay, so I saw this on X-Men one time, so just bear with the outcome, or Black, there Okay, one. wait, what exactly are you trying to do? And are you gonna hurt me? I'm, I'm just gonna go through your memories. Just okay. flip through the most recent ones, see if you've seen the girl from my vision. Okay, just see if we have anything to go off. Okay, well, wait. You didn't answer my second <laughs> question. <clears throat> Focus. Leo, that was weird, even on our standards. Agreed, but it worked. Hi, uh, I was just calling to see if the position at your printing company was still available. It is, great. Uh, yes, yes, I'm very interested. Come in today for an interview? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time would be good for you? Alright, yeah, I'll make it, that sounds great. Alright, thank you so much. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, take care, all right, bye. So, Blake, how are you today? I'm doing very well, how are you? Fine, thank you. So, let's get on to business. In a few words, could you describe your interest in working here at Lone Star Print Co? Yes, I'm very interested. I think the printing services here are well needed by the public, and I would love to get involved in providing those services through a great company like this one. All right. And could you describe yourself as an employee? Yes, I'm extremely hardworking. I'm very dedicated to my work. I always go above and beyond to satisfy the customer, no matter what. And I um, also work very well with others. Give me a few weaknesses that you possess. Well, it's been said that I almost work too hard. And sometimes I'm too meticulous in my endeavors. Well, Blake, it was a pleasure meeting you. We just may get in touch with you. Blake, it says here that you're 17 years of age, is that correct? Yes, sir. I'm 17. I'm sorry, Blake, but you need to be 18 to work here at this print shop. Do you have a birthday coming up soon? No, not till August. Well, I encourage you to come back and apply in a few months after you turn 18. Okay? Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh. 
Well, you ready for this? Ira told me this morning it was kind of a trip. Was probing Ira's mind not enough for you? No. There's no trace of my vision girl in her memory. How much of her memory did you even see? Just bits and pieces of the last four or five months. And it only worked visually. I could see images, but there's no sound or sensation. I don't know, maybe I haven't got the hang of it yet. <sighs> ready? Yeah, but before you do this, just know that there's some things in my mind that you might not be too comfortable with, so when you see them, just try and ignore them. Thanks for the warning. All right, try and focus. Sense. I saw her, but it, it wasn't her. It wasn't the girl from my visions. It looked just like her, though. I'm confused. Did you see a girl or not? I, I saw a girl in your memory, but it wasn't the girl from my visions. They looked just alike. But there was something so different about the girl in your memory. What girl did you even see from my memory? The girl that died in the accident. She was 15. God rest her soul. That's Liz Davenport. She went to my high school. She died like three or four months ago. It was all over the news. Matter of fact, her twin sister goes to my high school. Her twin sister. Yeah, her name is, her name is Lexi. Lexi Davenport. They were identical twins. Liz Davenport was the girl in your memory. And Lexi Davenport is the one I've been seeing in my head. Lexi Davenport is the time traveler. Lexi used to go to your old high school, right? Call some of your old friends. Maybe they have her phone number or her address. Dude, no need. I'll look up on Facebook. We can get her contacts from oh. there. Right. Well, I'm glad you thought of that. You don't have Facebook? Is that even possible? Just trying to stay under the radar, man. Yeah, here she is, Alexander Davenport. It says says she's online right now. I'll go ahead and message her. Here, let me write the message. You go get ready. We have plenty of time. We can meet her tonight. All right. Thank you for meeting with us, Lexi, and our sincerest condolences for your loss. Thank you. So, you both have strange abilities, too? Somehow, and believe it or not, I've been having visions of you for, like, the past couple weeks, and Blake here's the telekinetic. Okay. Wow. I mean, I've paused time a few times, and I've gone back a few months, but I never thought anyone else could do things like this. Neither did I, until recently, and that's why we're all here. Somehow our powers are all connected. And yours might be the only way that we can talk to someone that might know what this is all about. Yeah, and trust me, once Leo finds you, there's no way you're not going to be involved. That's fine with me. I actually think I've been waiting for all this in a way. So, what do you need me to do? 